The Kuala Lumpur High Court today ordered Dato Sri Najib Raza to enter his defence to all of his seven charges for alleged abuses of funds belonging to SRC International Sundri and Burhat. The court said the former Prime Minister had interest in the company where he had total control resulting in 42 million ringgit being deposited into his accounts. It is now up to the accused to rebut that, defense, that evidence. Delivering the decision today, Judge Muhammad Nazlan Muhammad Ghazali said Datuk Sri Najib had wielded enormous influence over SRC International when he was Prime Minister. The judge then said the accused could remain silent, make an unsworn statement from the dock or make a sworn statement from the witness stand. The 66-year-old accused then picked the third option and will be called to testify when the trial proceeds from December 3rd to 19th. During the hearing to determine if the accused had a case to answer to, it was revealed that he had the final say in the former One Malaysia Development Burhad One MDV subsidiary after appointing himself as the firm's advisor. Of the 42 million ringgit that was transferred to his bank accounts, 3.3 million was allegedly used to pay off credit card bills in 2014 for jewellery and designer store purchases. A portion of the money also allegedly went to political parties as well as used to pay for Datuk Sri Najib's home renovations, a news portal and his Facebook page, among other things.